video is on normal distribution. In today's video, here is the problem that is in a sample of 1000 cases. See here, how many cases are there? 1000 cases. The mean of a certain test is 14. So the mean value is given as 14 and the standard deviation is given as 2.5. Assuming the distribution to be normal. See here, we have to select normal distribution and we have to find how many students got above 18. See first one above 18 and how many students score between 12 and 15 and how many score below 18. See the first question here what is given. So in a sample of 1000 cases. How many cases are there? 1000 cases. The mean of certain test is 14 and the standard deviation is 2.5. Assuming the distribution to be normal. How many students above 18? See here, above 18, the first question is here, mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. So, mu is nothing but 14 from the question and the standard deviation sigma is equal to 2.5. So, it's clear, see, from the question, the mean is 14 and the standard deviation is 2.5. First of all, the first question is how many students got above 18? See here, in a certain test, mean is 14 and standard deviation is 2.8. So, first of all, for 18, if when x is equal to 18, see what happens. When x is equal to 18, so we have a formula that z is equal to, z is nothing but x minus mu by sigma. If I substitute the x value as 18, and what is mu value? So, mu is equal to 14, and sigma is nothing but this is 2.5. So, the value will be, see here. So, this is 18, 18 minus 14 divided by, this is 2.5, the value here is 1.6. The value here is 1.6 and see here, for probability of x greater than 18, above 18 means greater than 18. So, which is equal to, in terms of z, this will be z greater than 1.6. So, this will be z greater than 1.6. See here. So, if I draw this normal variate. So, this is uh, till minus infinity and this is plus infinity. So, this value is z is equal to 0. See here. So, this will be z is equal to positive value that is 1.6. So, z value is greater than 1.6. So, this value is nothing but Greater than 1.6 will be towards this side. See here. So, this is the required area. So, greater than. So, instead of calculating from uh, 1.6 till plus infinity. So, it is easier for us to calculate um, by subtracting 0 0.5 minus the area between 0. Point, uh, z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1.6. Therefore, the required area is equal to. This is 0. 0.5 minus the area between 0 to this is 1.6 so as you know that so the required area the required area is equal to 0 0.5 minus what is the area between 0 to 1.6 so this is 1.6 under 0 that is 0 0.4452 this is 0 0.4452 therefore this is uh, x greater than 18 is nothing but if I subtract this one, this will be 0 0.0548. Therefore, see here, the number of the students scored above 18 is the number of students scored above 18 is this is how many students are there? 1000 into 0 0.0548. So, which is equal to approximately. So, if I shift uh, 3 points towards that side, this will be 54.8. So, approximately 55 students got more than 18. So, this is how we have to plot the graph and uh, next to calculate the area. And the second question is how many students score between 12 and uh, 15? See here, the question 2 is how many students, the solution 2 is nothing but how many students how many students scored between 
between 12 and 15 see here when x is equal to 12 what will be the z value when x is equal to 12 so we have the z value as x minus mu by sigma so what is x value here so x is equal to 12 minus see from the question what is the mean here 14 what is the standard deviation this is 2.5 sd is nothing but 2.5 therefore our x value here will be this is 12 minus 14 12 minus 14 divided by 2.5 the value here is negative sign 0 point minus 0 0.8 when x is equal to see here when x is equal to 15 see when x is equal to 15 again we have the formula that is z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so if i substitute in this this will be 15 minus 14 by 2.5 this is nothing but 15 minus 14 this is 1 divided by 2.5 the value here is a positive value that is 0 0.4 see here now we have to plot the graph so for plotting this graph for plotting this graph so this is the graph so this is minus infinity and this is plus infinity so this is the x is equal to mu so in terms of z this will be z is equal to 0 so z value is minus 0 0.8 the negative part here is z is equal to minus 0 0.8 will be towards the left side of the ordinate and the next one z is equal to 0 0.4 see here here z is equal to 0 0.4 this is z2 and this is z1 so in between is the required area so this is the this is the required area so we need the required area and therefore in between that is the probability of see here the probability of 12 less than x less than 15 in terms of z will be so for 12 this is minus 0 0.8 less than z less than 0 0.4 which is equal to which is equal to see here the area of uh, z2 plus area of z1 see here this is nothing but what is z2 here 0 0.4 so this will be 0 0.4 plus the area in between 0 to minus this is minus 0 0.8 and by symmetry or due to symmetry we can take positive value that is 0 0.4 plus the area between 0 to this is plus 0 0.8 and from the table see here what is the the area in between 0 to 0 0.4 is 0 0.4 under 0 that is 0 0.1554 that is 0 0.1554 plus 0 0.8 under 0 that is 0 0.2881 so this is 2881 and therefore the required area will be if I add these two this will be 0 0.454435 is the required area that is probability of 12 less than x less than 15 value is equal to 0 0.4435 and see here the next question here is how many score below 18 see here for below 18 score below 18 this is solution 3 score below 18 so for x is equal to 18 what is our z value that is x minus mu by sigma and therefore this will be 18 so this is 18 minus 14 by 2.5 so which is equal to as you all know that is 18 minus 14 divided by 2.5 the value here is 1.6 so if i plot in the graph here See here this is the graph this tends to minus infinity and this tends to plus infinity so this is z is equal to 0 and this value is z is equal to 1.6 see here if it is below below means towards uh, towards the left hand side so this will be 0 0.5 so this is nothing but so this is towards the left hand side.
so this is the area to be known therefore half of the figure is 0 0.5 therefore the required area is equal to 0 0.5 plus the area in between 0 to this is 1.6 1.6 so this is nothing but 0 0.5 plus the area in between 1.6 1.6 under 0 is 0 0.4452 this is 0 0.4452 and therefore if I add this this will be 0 0.9452 see here the required area this is below that is x less than 80 therefore the number of students See here, the number of uh, students scored below 18 is. Therefore, the number of uh, students scored below 18. Below 18 is nothing but how many students are there? 1000 into 0 0.9452. So, if I shift this point uh, towards three digits, this will be... Um, 945.2 so approximately equal to 945 students scored below 18 and here also in between 12 to 15 how many students scored in between 12 to 15 means that is 1000 into the value here is 0 0.4435 1 2 3 if i shift this dot here this will be like this so 444 students scored uh, in between 12 and 12 and 15 and this is how we have to solve and this is how we have to draw the figure and this is also so simple first of all how many students uh, uh, students uh, got above 18 so for 18 z value is 1.6 after plat plotting z is equal to 1.6 and above means towards the right side of the ordinate so instead of calculating the whole thing till plus infinity so i'll, I'll calculate like this that is 0 0.5 minus the area between z is equal to 0 to 1.6 and this is the area and for the number of the students is 1000 therefore 55 students scored above 18 marks and so here and this is also the same case for x is equal to 12 the z value is minus uh, 1.8 for x is equal to 15 z value is 0 0.4 and this is how we have to plot the graph and this is area a2 and this is area a1 area a1 plus area a2 is the answer and for thousand students approximately 444 students got in between 12 and 15 and below 18 means see here the value here is 0 0.9452 and for number of students a thousand so this is 945 got uh, below 18 so this is how we have to solve and this is also so simple if you follow these videos if you really like please pass it on to your friends thank you so much